Hello, everybody. It's that stuff, that stuff here. I get Uh, another part three of my ego thing. I'm sorry. I know it's late. It's literally 9:30 p.m. where I'm at right now. But you know what? I need to get this out. I want to get this out as soon as possible. Just lightning round of stuff because I realize I, I, th I think I personally think I know where the story is going, and I just lost my phone somewhere. On my here it is. It was under Totoro. But anyways. I think I know where the story is going. Uh, like it's it, this is just a theory of mine. It's not 100% canon. Uh, but this is also adding to a theory I had earlier today. If you saw it on Tumblr, uh, if you don't know what it is, basically, all right. So I'm gonna explain it, that theory here, and then I'm gonna go on to my next theory. So Chase, all right. So Marvin's um up earlier today. Marvin's post hasn't been touched at all, and Chase's post. Only the sad part was a uh, sad part was corrupt on it, but now, but then something different happened. The magn Marvin the Magnificent part of that po Chase's post, not Marvin's post, but Chase's post got corrupted. Only the sa still the sad, but also Marvin. Now, now I fear. Now I like I. I'm surprised nobody else saw this, but I like people are saying that Marvin's teaming up with Auntie, but I don't think so. I don't think that's the character with him, even though he's only been in, like one video. But I don't think that's the character with him. I but I believe that Marvin is trying to save Chase. And that is why his Chase's post isn't as corrupted because Marvin's trying to save him. And that is why Marvin's name in Chase's post is corrupted to try to drain a little power out of him while also trying to do some damage to Chase. And the reason why Auntie's not attacking Marvin's post is because Marvin was voted the least popular on the poll, which I just found out was from Church Stream, by the way. But he was voted the least popular on the poll, therefore it doesn't have as much power with the fandom as the other egos did, and or do. Therefore, he's not as much as a threat. So that's why he didn't go after Auntie. He went after, like, the really popular big guys first, that everyone loved and had the most amount of power, probably. Until, and then went, and now, and he's working down to the weaker ones, ending with Marvin. But here's, alright. But Marvin, Marvin knows Chase is the protagonist, okay? Marvin is aware that Chase is the protagonist. And I have, like, I, there's some, I just, I realized this in, like, a span of a few mi a few minutes. I was just sitting somewhere, and I realized it in a few minutes. So Marvin's post says... That, it, yes, it's also the thing about the phoenix and stuff, I am aware of that, and phoenix rises from the ashes, and it mentions another ego, and also ashes rise and all that. But he also said, people overlooked this last part, and that is a smart man with a deeper understanding of things. Everyone's looking at the phoenix and ashes part, but nobody's looking at the smarter man with deeper understanding of things part. And I have a feeling that's going to play an important role. So, alright, here's, alright, and here's the thing. After after all that stuff, after hours of waiting, Mar Marvin's post got ever so slightly corrupted. Just the letter A in Ashes got corrupted, but it's still ever so slightly corrupted. So now Auntie is going after Marvin. And alright, I have a theory. I'm gonna use alright, I'm gonna use Infinity War as an example. Not not Endgame, but Infinity. Well, I kind of a little bit of both, but mostly Infinity War. So if you haven't seen it, spoiler alert. So you should really see it. it's been like a year or two now. But yeah, anyways, my theory is that it's, alright, it's like Doctor Strange in that movie. Doctor Strange said no matter what, he's not going to give up Time Stone to save Tony or Peter or anyone, really. And then later on in the movie, to after, after Doctor Strange realizes what's going on, like, uh, sees all the different endings and they only win in one, he knows that he has to give Thanos the Time Stone in order for Tony to live. In this case, Marvin is Doctor Strange, Auntie is Thanos, and Tony Stark is Chase. Marvin is either giving up him, himself or maybe even his magic in order... I At least this is what I think. He's giving up himself in order to save Chase because he knows Chase is going to be the one to win this all. And that is why Marvin's post is now getting ever so slightly corrupted. And you know what? I think the only way... This theory is going to be proven, in my opinion, as if later on, 
we look at Chase's post and ev and all th all the encrypted shit is gone. If all the encrypted shit is gone, then I'm going to take that as my theory is right. Marvin sacrificed himself to save Chase. And also, I and yes, I do know about like the next uh the whole like blue eye thing. I have a picture on my phone and of course in Jack's commissioner of Marvin, he's got the blue glowing eye there. So this either means something really, really good or really, really bad, because Marvin. All right, so, so, so at first I like looking at it and I thought, oh yeah, Marvin's taking control. All right, yeah, he's cool, all cool and stuff. And then I thought of my theory, and if Marvin is giving himself up to Auntie, may I think that means Auntie's gonna have all his power, and that's not a good thing. If Mar, all right, if Auntie is taking control of Marvin then he could potentially get those powers and have the blue eyes, or the blue eye even, and get all of his magic, therefore becoming more powerful. And yes, I know Anti Sock got out of there and st stuff, you know, and he's being a petty bitch, bitch and just wanted socks and stuff because he's barefoot. And yes, those memes are funny. I had a good laugh. I reblogged a lot of them and stuff. But I think I agree with people that those memes and that stuff was just, it was just a setup to make us not notice what's happening to Marvin and stop cheering on Marvin for a moment in order to make fun of Auntie. So, by this saying, making fun of Auntie does not work anymore. It doesn't work. It's just going to give him more power. The more attention we give him, the more power we give him. And therefore, we have to give all of our attention to Marvin. And yes, I am guilty of giving Auntie the attention. Even though it's mostly shit posts and one actually serious thing because I was weak. I'm I've only drawn one thing, maybe two even two things for his art week. One th I drew one thing for his art week and one thing today for him. I need we need to keep cheering on Marvin, okay? That's I think that's what we need to do. And if not Marvin, if it's too late for Marvin, then we need to cheer on Chase. Because it's clear it's alright, it's clear that by the post, especially Freaking Schneeps and Jackie Boy Mans, they're gone. They are completely gone. Their posts are completely and utter, utterly corrupted. There is nothing left of them. It's they're gone. And yeah, I, I'm I don't know what the and like how this story adds to like the whole subject fail thing and the tags and how it disappeared and stuff, or where even where JJ fits in all this. I don't I don't know. But I'm not saying I figured out the entire story. I'm just saying I think Keyword, think, I figured out part of the story. The only, I think, and personally, I think the only way this, my theory can get confirmed is if, like, tomorrow or something, Chase's, Chase Brody's Ego, Ego Week post completely cleans up and all the glitches and Zelgo stuff, are, or whatever the fuck they're called, are gone. If that happens, then I think my theory is correct. And if that is the case... We should be very scared for Marvin, and also very scared for Chase, and probably very afraid of Auntie, because he's going to have all that power. He's probably going to fucking climb through our screens and slit our throats himself, as starting with me because of how much I've been making fun of him, okay? I've been, like, I've been right at it, okay? I am a weak bitch, but yeah. Anyways, that is it for this video. Um, that's all I got for now. Uh... I, I am both excited and scared for what's going to happen tomorrow, man. And people are saying, like, oh, man, it's all just an advertisement for socks. Uh, clearly not, because, one, anti-months, and two, like, there wouldn't be all this other cryptic shit, like, test failed and stuff. Or, like, the other egos post getting crypt crypted, like, what? And, yeah, and Jack would, Jack would never, like, it may, it, he might sell those socks, maybe, I mean, I, I'd want to buy them, to be honest. I, I want some nice socks. Ah, oh, man. If Jameson gets some socks, my, if my boy JJ, my favorite boy, gets some socks, then I'm totally buying. But, yeah. Um, but, yeah. We just got to hope for Marvin and Chase to be good and stay strong and hope my theory is right because I like being right at things. <laughs> I, I don't have to be right, though. I'm. This is all just a theory, an ego theory. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Peace.